Hey guys, I'm Lakshya and let's start with the basic concept of mathematical induction, class 11th, chapter 2. So here you have, show that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus it goes on till n, where n is n which is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. Guys, here they have given, they have given the LHS side and they have given the RHS side. They are asking to convert this LHS side into the RHS side way. So now coming back to the mathematical induction, where this sum is from mathematical induction as you can see. Where 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus goes on till n which is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. So, as you know, sigma n formula is what guys? Sigma n, where sigma n formula is n, n into n plus 1 by 2, right? So just keep that formula aside. Now coming back to this mathematical induction, what happens here is you will be having three cases, okay? You will be having how many cases? Three cases as uh, the given question consists like where n belongs to n, okay? Where n means small n belongs to capital N, okay? Means small n belongs to capital N where capital N means it's a natural number, okay? Capital N means natural number. So as we are coming back to this mathematical induction, you will be having three cases where the first one would be n equal to 1, okay? If n equal to 1, what happens like that, okay? So first case will be what? n equals to 1 and second case will be s of k where n equal to s of k and the third case will be k plus 1 term, okay? Where n equal to k plus 1, some kind of like this, okay? Where n equal to k plus 1, they would have having three cases. Now first let's start with the first one, okay? Let's start with the first one. As we go on doing the problem, right? Then we will be getting, definitely getting it. So here guys, for the first one, what, what I have said? Where uh, consider n equal to 1, okay? n equal to 1. If n equals to 1, then here you have n equals to 1. Uh, but if n equal to 1, what happens? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus goes on n, right? So here I can say like 1 plus 2 plus 3 uh, plus as it is. But here n, n value what, what I have said like firstly n equal to 1, right? So then therefore n value will be 1, okay? This is uh, plus 1 equals to instead of n what you place here, you take this equation guys, okay? You consider this equation, like you consider this one, okay? Then what you do? You replace n. You, pre you replace 1 in the place of n. Means here you have n. So then what, what it would happen? It would, we will be getting like 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2. Okay, n into n plus 1 by 2. 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2, right? So that's what. Now guys, here you go like here where uh, n value, n means first number, n equal to 1, right? n the term equal to 1. So therefore, LHS side will be 1. Okay, LHS side is this side. Okay, LHS side is equal to 1. And RHS side. Let's go for RHS side. So here you have 1 into 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, right? 2 by 2. Equal to what? 2 by 2 equal to 1. So therefore, I can say where LHS equal to RHS, right? LHS equal to 1. RHS value is what? 1. So therefore, LHS equal to RHS. As here, I can say, yeah, this is, this is proved, right? Where LHS, I got what? LHS value, I got 1. RHS value, I got what? 1. So therefore, both were proved, okay? Both were balanced, both were equal. So that's what I have proved over here. So therefore, I can say that n, n equal to 1, okay? n equal to 1 is true, okay? n equal to 1 is true, means the, the statement that I got, okay, or s of 1. So here I can say that as here n equal to 1 that I have proved. So what do I, what do, I do? I would say like s of 1. s of 1 is true. Okay, s of 1 is true. Instead of n plus, I have substituted 1. So that's what I got the same values. So s of 1 is true. Clear? Let's go for the second case. So this will be the first case, guys. So the second case will be s of k. Now in the second case, what you would do is you assume that, you assume that second case is true. Okay, you assume that second case is true. I mean here, where uh, the second case I have said what S of K, right? So what you do first is uh, to go with the second case, where um, assume, as I have said, assume that S of K is true. Okay, assume that S of K is true. So then, uh, if you assume that S of K is true, then what you do instead of n place, okay, instead of n place, where S of K equal to n means instead of n place, substitute K, K value, okay, substitute K value. Means here, what, what, what here, how, how would I substitute over here? 1 plus 2 plus 3, which goes on all the natural numbers over here. So instead of n, what I have said? Instead of n substitute, now substitute k value, okay. Instead of n substitute k, okay, k, which is 
equal to plus as it is. Okay, so okay, um, plus k equal to, so instead of n, what I said again, k, okay, substitute k, k into k plus 1 by 2, okay, k into k plus 1 by 2. Now what happens, assume that s of k is true, so that's what we got this value, okay, we got, we got this uh, uh, equation, some kind of a value. So then what you do, you consider this as first equation or equation number 1, okay, that we got an equation, right. We got an equation, now what you do, you consider this as equation number 1 or first equation, okay. Keep this equation aside, now you what you do, keep this equation aside, now introduce the third case, the third case here is k plus 1, okay. The third case here is k plus 1, keep this s of k aside, okay, keep this equation aside, we will be proving it later, keep this equation aside, now introduce a new case, so the third case will be s of k, or, or sorry, k plus 1, okay, the third Remember k plus 1 into here you have k, here you have plus 2. 
So go with k plus 2 as is. Okay, k plus 1 into k plus 2 by 2. Clear? k plus 1 into k plus 2 by 2. Clear? How do, how do, we, how do we got this step? How do we got this step? We got this step by k plus 1, k plus 1 by adding k plus 1, uh, by taking common as the k plus 1. And here I got k, here I have plus 2, so that's what I have written. Clear? Now what you do from this step, you will be getting the other step. Okay, from this step you will be getting another step where as it is k plus 1. Okay, k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 means k plus 2. I can write, I can write this k plus 2 as k plus 1 plus 1, right? So k plus 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 2, right? So k plus 2. Means, are you getting it, guys? Here I can write this k plus 2 as k plus 1 plus 1. So that's what I have written. Now what happens here? You go with this formula. Just look after this form and look after this form. Okay. Look after this form and this form. Here you got what? K plus 1. Instead of n, where n I have taken in this form, in the third equation, what I have said? Where n equal to k plus 1. Okay, consider n equal to k plus 1. Okay, then here, where n equal to k plus 1 means here I got what? n value, right? And here you have what? k plus 1. Plus 1. So here, here k plus 1 means n value. So n into 1. Okay, n into 1. So n, uh, n plus 1 not into, don't go with it, but here you have what, n plus 1, means k plus 1 means n value, n plus 1 by 2, hope you got it, clear, clear, means as you are going there, don't get, at last, at last what we have done, we have proved this, okay, at last what we have done, we have proved this is true, means k plus 1 is true, that's, that's what we have proved, so what, what do I do, I will conclude like, therefore, k plus 1, k plus 1 the term, is true okay k plus 1 the term is true and what about this k, uh, k of s where k, we have assumed that k of s, true, s is true right we have assumed that k of, k of f, s is true so that's what we got out here um, before adding this bo on both sides such this before adding this on both sides here we have added what k plus 1 k plus 1 right if we rub this let me rub the k plus 1 on both sides so this will be become the first this will become the first equation where here where here, before that, like here in the second case, I am talking about the second case now, where n equal to k, right, here, n equal to k, means s of k equal to, n equal to k, we have considered n equal to k, right, so here I got k value, instead of n value, I got k value, instead of n, n value, I got k plus 1, so therefore, therefore, I can say that s of k is also true, okay, s of k is true, okay, so that's what here I got, well, and, uh, uh, therefore, S of 1 is true, S of k is true, S of k, uh, well k plus 1 term is also true. Clear? Hope you got it. Thank you.